Yo, what's up guys? Lucky Thrives here and it's finally time to go back up to the cabin. It's officially day 47. I got both chainsaws with me. I got little Franklin with me and we're going to go up and do some siding as requested by the community. What's up, buddy? You ready to go? Oh. All right, let's head up to the cabin. We'll see you guys up there. Before I take off though, can't forget this. A good fan of ours sent this to the PO box. Thanks, Nucking Futs. This is a shade cloth for the gardens. It's gonna help to protect them from the heat and also from the hail. Another fan also sent this huge roll of paracord. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's extremely useful in survival situations. The same guy that sent this also sent this really nice first aid kit. I actually keep it in the truck because I'm more likely to use it in the truck, but uh, it makes it up to the cabin every single time that I go. So yeah, thank you once again for everything you guys have sent to the PO box. Franklin, let's go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That's a good boy. Here's my guy. That's my guy, you ready to go? Oh, dude is huge, guys. Getting huge. We're about to take off and I forgot to mention that we have this giant box that we got in the PO box last week. I have no idea what's in there, but I'm pretty pumped to open it. I think there's something inside for Will as well. So we'll open that as soon as we get to the cabin, guys. There might even be something for you, Franklin. Who knows? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just stopped at Sonic and I got this little guy a snack. That's right, guy. You heard me right. Be gentle though. Gentle. Good boy. Good boy. Did you get some? You just drooled all over me. <laughs> this guy. This dude swears he's a lap dog, guys. I don't get it. He just wants to be right here. I gave him his own window on the other side, but he refuses. Friends, Franklin. What's up, guys? What's up? All right, this dude's pretty much jumping out the truck, so I'm just gonna let him out here. Go on. Good boy. What's a good boy? Yo, sir. Look at that tail going, though. Huge shout out to Steven for the signs, dude. They're so sick. Oh my god. Can't wait to put them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you guys will get to see where Will puts his. I'm taking this straight to the cabin. 
Nortex fabrication. If you need any metal work done, hit them up. Damn, it's been a while. Dude, let's throw this up by the dartboard for now and uh, I'll find it a permanent home soon. Yeah, that looks sick. Cabin is slowly getting decorated here. And I think today we're gonna start tackling the front. I waited way too long. The paper started peeling. I should probably replace it, but we're gonna send it. Oh well. sure how I'm gonna do that yet but we'll figure it out <laughs> you want to help yeah all right never mind we got Will's help wait so where are we taking up this way and then okay in through that gap Man with the plan. Oh, that's gonna be fucking heavy. I don't know if I'm even helping by this. Big man. That could probably go up. I'm just gonna toss it. 
toss it. No. Down it. That'll work. <laughs> Good shit. stories to be thinking. I just spent the last hour notching and setting this log and I absolutely butchered the cut guys. I cannot use this for the cabin. That one's like a whole foot off. So I'm gonna have to take it off and find somewhere else for it to go. Really, really nasty mistake. I just decided to add the messed up log here to the retaining wall. Maybe I can use it as scaffolding. I could put logs from that piece over to this piece. And then I can step right there and finish the rest of the cabin easily because it was a pain to get this log over there. See how that works. So when I was taking off this log, I noticed the giant gap there between the last log of the cabin and the plywood. So I'm gonna put some spray foam in there. It's not gonna look the greatest, but it'll work.
so sketchy. Dude, I've been here the whole time. Stop barking at me. So I really want to cover the front of this cabin with all of the scrap lumber that I brought from the firehouse, but everybody is crying and saying that I should use logs. Still haven't decided yet, but huge shout out to wifey, Miss Lady Lucky. She came through a couple months ago and planted a bunch of bulbs, and now there's flowers popping up all over the mountain. Check this out. Right here, off to the side of the cabin. We got some beautiful flowers. I have no idea what they are. You'll have to ask her. And I bet if we look up the mountain, we'll start seeing more and more. Oh, sure enough, look at that. A bunch there, a bunch there. Crazy. Let's go take a look at them. We got some purple ones, some yellow ones, some white ones, some peach ones, and a whole bunch of other flowers. Have you shown Where's that berry bush? I think these are raspberries. I don't, uh, I don't see any raspberries. They look like they need a little water. For real. Oh, this one looks good. Are these raspberries? Does anyone know? They do have the prickles on the on the spine. I don't know. Will is off on a mission. Let's see if the pups follow him. Uh, sure enough, there they go. Let's take a look at the cabin. I was gonna try and get three logs up today, but we had a slight issue. I miscut this one and we couldn't use it. So I did some other stuff today. I said I wasn't gonna do this, but we spray foamed the major cracks in the cabin. It actually does not look as bad as I thought it was. And it's gonna get covered anyways, once we continue with the logs. Let's see how it looks from the inside. You see, it's not too bad. I can probably even trim it up a bit or cover it with something. Uh, I started to spray foam here. I know it doesn't look the greatest, but I think what I'm gonna do is maybe cover that with moss or concrete or something else that looks better. The spray foam will act as insulation and then we can just cover the spray foam in something that looks nice. The new sign is so sick. Tons of detail put into this thing, and it looks great right by the dartboard. Still need to clean these windows, haven't had a chance to do so. Before I head back, I'm gonna collect three trees and take them down to the cabin. Will's gonna help me rip them in half tomorrow and then we'll be back up this weekend for an overnighter. We're gonna put the halves of these logs up on the front of the cabin and hopefully get that all finished up. So yeah, been a great day. Let's see how much of a roll we can get off this guy. Nice. <laughs> Things up for day 47. Got a couple logs rolled down the mountain. 
Will's gonna split them for me. Thanks, Will. Jesse, later. Franklin, come on. Let's go. Good boy, come on. <laughs> He's like, nah. Damn. Getting big, dude. Oh, you smell like chicken shit, too. Yeah, he smells like a chicken coop again. Dude, really? Lucky. Pretty nice fit, huh? Looks good. Thanks, bro. Yeah, let's stick to baseball, man. That's so bad. <laughs> so close, I was an air ball. I was nowhere near close. It's probably the basketball, that was a $5 Walmart basketball. Let's play with an actual good basketball. Oh, come on. That's all you guys get. That was so bad. But I can't even be mad because I never played basketball, so. I'll take two shots. Also, going to take care of the breaking 90 day three on this live with some pull-ups, actually some dead hangs. I can't go straight into pull-ups, so I gotta stretch the shoulders first and the back. Hey, what's up, TY? I know, dude, just speaking up, speaking up. About to stretch out the shoulders here real quick on the pull-up bar and get my throwing arm nice and ready for tomorrow because I will be throwing a bullpen tomorrow. 20-pitch bullpen. I threw a 10-pitch bullpen yesterday. So we got a 20-pitch bullpen coming tomorrow. Start seeing more pitches. Start working on my changeup, my curveball, and you know I'm going to be working on that knuckleball. Uh, I don't want to throw too hard yet. I'm still easing into it. I'm trying not to hurt myself. Disappointing four. Disappointing four. Got a lot of work to do, guys. A lot of work to do. But slowly but surely, I'll keep you guys up to date with all of the progress. Oh, damn, I know. <laughs> week, week three, you're counting it as three? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably three. Yeah, I'm gassed. I've been lifting logs all day. I probably moved about five big logs. And yeah, I'm pretty tired. 
and I had a full day of work. Whew. <laughs> and now you're gonna go see how, yeah. I, I know you could beat me, get at least five in. Yeah, I'm coming back for more. It's either gonna be a little bit better or way worse. Seven, seven to follow up to five. I'll take it. Not bad. Now I'm gassed up. I'm gonna head back to the cabin, clean up my tools, kick it with Will and Jesse for a bit and then head down and back to Vegas. But thank you guys, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. You counted six, huh? Yeah, that's probably six. Thanks guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay lucky. And uh, I'll post a video sometime this week. Let's try and shoot for before Friday. I'll post day 47 for you. Lucky out, peace.